do I look like your glucose your glucose parental figure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Hello. <laughs> it is I, the glucose patriarchal figure. Yeah. <laughs> so let's jump back into this. We're gonna have. I think I'm gonna start reading. Like this chapter, I find is very boring. You're back. Yeah, I think we're gonna be skipping a, a couple of dialogue. Oh, I don't care. I'm feeling better now. Let's get going. Let's skip that text. <laughs> Let's skip that text. Oh, no, are you uh, so the, the the twist, I'm guessing, because I've never, I think I've never finished this game. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm th I think Tippy was like the old romantic interest of Black. Hmm. You, you're talking about Tippy is Tippany and Black is Blumiere. Oh, is that really? <laughs> Is is that the names? Is that the name scheme? Oh my god! <laughs> it's like B and B and T and D. They could have they could have called her them. They could have called her Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? They could have. They're like. Tip, tip, Hi. I just tippy. wanted to meet you. Yeah. And and like, fucking Tippy is okay. Fucking plot point. Tippy is fucking falling for Mario and then fucking by Merlin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she's falling for. Mar it's weird, man. If a butterfly mm -hmm. fell in love with me, I'd be like. I'm I'm sorry. There's just, like I can't. This can't work yeah. between us. Yeah. I I'll skip the dialogue, but I won't skip the monologue. All okay. Right. So still worried about Tippy's condition? Mario and friends open the fifth door. Is it five now? <laughs> they still need to find the three pure hearts. But the imminent imminent destruction of the world was approaching at an alarming pace. I am alarmed. I am coming. <laughs> Oh God! Would Mario have enough time to save the day? And what foul trick would Count Black and his goon come up with next? This adventure grew more dangerous and more thrilling. <laughs> Just <every> like me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I think this is a oh, downtown of Crag. Uh, this is a good time to, uh, uh yeah, to bring up, uh, I'm, I'm just, I won't ease the topic again. YouTube Rewind came out, like, a week ago. Have yeah. You, have you watched it, Dave? I didn't, I did no. not, no. Uh, YouTube Rewind has been going down at, like, in a downward spiral. Fuck, kind of monstrosities. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the, I love the background, but, oof, yeah. it's like Picasso's nightmare. Okay. That's weird. Yes. Um... So yeah, I'm just gonna skip, skip everything. Um, YouTube Rewind this year was very. You want to just press A? Okay, David's gonna control while I'm focusing on what my. Yeah, yeah. Tell me your story while I so haphazardly. Spoiler listen. alert! If you haven't watched YouTube Rewind, go watch it now. 2018. If you're watching it from five years from now, watch a 2018 version. And uh, I'm gonna go step by step of how fucking shit. It like was okay. Go so, ahead. what do you think was big this year that YouTube would have cashed in on on a YouTube rewind? Uh, uh, I, don't, I guess was it a Bush's death? Uh, no, I don't. They're Americans. I don't yeah. know, man. They think of crazy shit. Um, wasn't there a terrible thing that happened? A lot of famous people died this year. Oh. Just forget about it's YouTube Rewind. They don't want to have bad credit. They want to represent YouTube on a good light. On a good light. Yeah. What happened that was good this year? Which is not good, but okay. Or the, okay. Go big ahead. big one out of the game. Video games. What video game do you think they put into YouTube Rewind? Come on, it's like a fucking epidemic. Oh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Yes. Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. Fortnite. So the video starts. I mean, essentially one of the best things that ever happened to humanity. <laughs> Fuck off, baby. <laughs> so the video start with fucking. What the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> with fucking Will Smith. What? Will Smith. Okay. It fucking starts off with Will Smith turning around and is like, if I control re rewind, I would have Fortnite with Marquez like a YouTube creator, and I'm just like. What the? F okay, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. Yes. So I'm like, okay, Fortnite did not just fucking come out of Will Smith's mouth. Will Will Smith's mouth. Yeah. What? Because it's like fucking. I I bet you 100% Will Smith has never played fucking Fortnite. 
You think? I think his son plays it or something. I don't know, but oh my god. Dude, it, don't run. Sorry. <laughs> it was it was just it was just cringy. But I find the one that was the part of it. We're, we're gonna feast on their bodies. Yeah. <laughs> they will feed us with nutrients and yeah. minerals. <laughs> Photosynthesis. <laughs> um So yeah. Um, Will Smith, that's so weird. It's just weird. I, just I mean, off. I like Big Willie. I don't like his. I don't like his. What? Excuse me. You you turn around yeah. the Yoshi stone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like I like I like Will Smith, but in his movies, he only plays as Will Smith. In my opinion, yeah. this is oh, this is gonna piss off a lot of people. Yeah. But. Yeah, he, he's always. I, when I see him, I'm like, oh, it's Will Smith in that movie. It's never like a different character. Yeah, it's not like, oh, it's Forrest Gump. No, mm -hmm. it's oh, it's Tom Hanks as Forrest. No, mm -hmm. For, Tom Hanks is fucking an amazing actor. Yeah. Well, I think it went downhill, like, because you know, Will Smith literally played Will Smith in Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you know, like. But it was also like his first game. Yeah, but I mean, he was playing his himself. He was playing Will. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah. Um but yeah, but then then they get to this like weird part. Cuz again, think that YouTube doesn't want to doesn't want to be seen in a bad light, right? Yeah. No, you're not going to need that. Okay, you're out. You know, you don't fine. Okay. Fucking God damn, damn it. it. So like forget like as much as I wasn't a fan of it, but forget the fucking boxing fight of like fucking Logan Paul and Kansai, which was a big event. Was it? I, Logan it, Paul did uh, a boxing fight? Yeah. Was he know how to Kansai. fight? No. It was just like a big hype mess. It was like just... Okay, they were trying to do the McGregor and... Sort of, but like YouTuber edition. And it was, it was really bad, but it was Sounds still... really sad. It was, it was still, it was still pretty big and YouTube were like fucking with Logan Paul, they were like fucking, he showed a dead body on YouTube, you know, they was like fucking, yeah, leave him out. But it was still like a big thing that it's like, it represented a, a lot of like YouTube 2018. There's a fucking PewDiePie versus T-Series, which is like fucking, it's a, it's a fucking important part of YouTube history, like... I find, yeah, which is like a corporation, in, which is gonna pop over the like an independent creator, which is like YouTube. It's like the fucking the f the flip of like what YouTube is trying to be and what creators right, right. are trying to keep. The, the flip side, exactly. Okay. Yeah, but anyways, th they get to this point. They get to this point where they talk about like I am pressing that button. Yeah. They, they're like sitting around at, in, uh, at a campfire and they're basically saying like, oh, we control YouTube, YouTube Rewind, let's make like whatever the fuck we want with I it. I see, yeah. And then like, after they do like a couple of si silly things of what they want YouTube Rewind to be, because they're like, YouTube's trying to portray that the creators have the, the choice on they have what power, they have power, they don't. which they don't. Yeah, but, I mean, um, <laughs> they fucking get into a fucking saying the f word a lot man. yeah because i'm it's frustrating i like, mean if they got into a just letting you know way into it, yeah d just letting you know this year's rewind got like an 18 percent like rate Oof. 82 percent of dislikes on the video and 18 percent of likes what wait uh okay so 18 percent of your viewership yeah enjoyed it wait i'm confused as to where was i from here yeah do you want me to spoil it for you if they hit the bo box in a certain pattern. Oh, these boxes, I can interact with them? Yeah, you just hit them in a certain pattern and then you'll unlock. Yeah, I don't know what the pattern is. Though. Um, but yeah, so anyways, they're, they're like, let me get back to the point. They're okay. around the, the, the campfire. I did. There you go. <laughs> they're around the campfire. And then like, they go around saying like, oh, let's, let's, let's try and like, see what good we did, and you're gonna want to have the bomb, by the way, or Bowser, because these these monsters are fucking intense. Um, yeah. Um, they 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 sit around in, in, around a fire, and then they start saying stuff like, "Oh, let's uh, let's talk about like, oh yeah, how YouTube did an amazing stride with mental health issues, and it's okay to ha admit that you have mental health." Or right, oh, which, which it is. Like, yeah, but it's like, like going. Okay, don't need that. 
Um, going on with that, it's like they they talk about <laughs> they they talk about like you know also like other, like a lot of stuff that it's like okay you two fucking wrote the script for this like yeah well no I I, I think <laughs> I think HR went through it and they're like listen yeah. Cause it's like, oh, let's just admit, like, oh, women went through like an amazing breakthrough with how empowering women are. Like, oh, let's support people who do drag, which is like, big support. Do do it as do what you love, you know. But it's yeah. like, it doesn't have to be something that's mentioned. Yeah. But listen, and, I, if I can just add on it, yeah. uh, there's a lot of people talking about uh, like the mobilization of like female like women's rights and stuff like that mm -hmm. um and a lot of them are talking about like the fact that if it i know exactly where we're going for. okay we're gonna we're gonna put a pause on this oh conversation God. you're gonna do middle right left middle right no. okay left. wait no All right no no, no. no, do middle, 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 right, middle. left. Oh, it's one of it's like a Simon Says thing. Yeah, do mi middle, right, left. So you're gonna do middle, right, right, left, middle, middle, left, 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 right, left, 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 middle, middle. I think I fucked it up. Go ahead. Left, right, middle. Right, left. What? Are you fucking with me right now? Right, right. You fucked it up. I don't, I think you, we're gonna we're gonna continue the conversation next episode. Oh, uh, but gonna, I was getting into my women thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. You know what? Let, let's finish our conversation and then next episode we're gonna have this completed. Uh, yeah. So, so Pause screen. You can make it make the screen go dark, editor yeah. Simon, <laughs> uh, or put the logo. Oh yeah. 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 Podcast. Um, yeah. No, I just think uh, I, I I do think that the um, proportionally the battle that women have been fighting is uh, like not nearly as significant as it used to be in terms of uh, like having the right to vote. Mm -hmm. or like in terms of like i i don't know like uh, women uh being allowed to do certain jobs like mm -hmm. having a female cop was just not a thing yeah or job opportunity and things like that there's a lot more women in school and things like that uh so in terms of like the social stand-in that women have in the system a lot wow this is a fucking serious episode yeah <laughs> uh, um there's a uh, the stakes i find are to say lower by not being heard currently mm -hmm. because there is such a huge um platform for women to express themselves i think youtube is part of it mm -hmm. for sure because youtube is now you know just part of the the international ecosystem of getting news around yeah uh but for now yeah for now so <laughs> i i do agree with the fact that like feminism and things like that are like women's rights trans mm -hmm. and whatnot are they are a big part of youtube mm -hmm. uh, i just i just don't like the fact how they sugarcoat it saying like it's like youtube rewind is supposed to be i find something that's relatable to like like especially just the youtuber like i watch youtube rewind and like 99 percent of the people on there i don't fucking know yeah, same. and it, it's it's like I just know the game related ones. Yeah, and usually. You, the game related one or like Smosh, <laughs> Smosh. But <laughs> even kidding. Smosh wasn't there this year. No, of like, course not. Red and Link wasn't there. Uh, Markiplier just made one appearance when because like this they when they start that section of like let's thank be thankful they mention like let's be thankful to everybody who did something bigger than themselves and then there's like Markiplier with all his charity events that he does, which you know he's he's amazing at doing that. So, like, he has just this, like, one little cameo. But then there's, like, you know, PewDiePie does charity events, too, during the year, and he wasn't in it. And, like, you know, and I know there's a whole conspiracy or there's, like, a YouTube against PewDiePie thing. Um, fucking Red and Link, which is usually a regular appearance, and they never done anything, like, with a conspiracy or, like, you know. Yeah. But, you know, they weren't on the, the 
a freaking rewind and it's like those are people that like i'm mentioning that weren't there but like for the life of me i can't fucking think of people that were on the rewind and there's people that i'm like why are they on on the rewind there's like ninja from like fortnite stuff which is mainly on twitch and yeah. i'm like you're not valuing no yeah he's just the, the creators he's just uploading celebrity his, yeah yeah he's a celebrity and he's uploading his uh like best of montage from his twitch yeah onto youtube so he, you're not being faithful to people who are actually on your platform you're just lo- like bringing on people that have a lot of viewing and there's a lot like a lot of old viners like lily ponds or like you know people that are like why are they there yeah it's like yes they 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 migrated to youtube but I don't know. They're not like I. I don't agree that every single year there should be the same creators. It's good to alternate, but there was nothing remarkable about this one. And like to also just kind of shove the message. Like that's what I hated about that particular part. Is like I, like I'm happy with all the message they did, but they they did it like almost like a, a political move mm. to say like YouTube were about this, but then yeah. like it was they don't, pre- preachy. It was preachy. Yeah. That's, that's why I don't I didn't like is that it yeah. was oh, my remote just died. Yeah. It's fine. Um it was preachy. Yeah. It was just like You're we, not responsible we, for any of this. Yeah. It's like you're not you, they they were kind of saying like YouTube did this. And yeah. it's just like, no, you didn't. And then they bring up the, the, the concept of mental health. And this is this is like information that I got through uh, just watching other creators talking about it and then stuff like that. Like the the the, the mention is about the I think the app is called Better Help, and like a lot of YouTubers has been sponsored by this mental health uh, organization, which I guess it's like they 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 let you sign up to this service that they get people who aren't qualified psychologists to that you could talk to. Like they're not they're not certified, they don't have a certificate, they're just people online that you could reach out to. Cool. So they're like the nice people of Reddit. Exactly. The nice people of Reddit. <laughs> We're just and, but you pay this service, like you get a free uh you have to put in your credit card automatically from the start, but you get a free twenty eight day trial. And even if you cancel your submission ten days after getting the trial, you're paying the monthly fee of two hundred fifty seven dollars. Okay. So and it's not refundable, even if you sign up for free. Of course it's not. Yeah. And YouTubers that promoted this get better better help. And which most of the time was a video of saying, Hey guys, I'm just letting you know I'm not feeling too well. I'm gonna be taking a break. By the way, sponsor, thank you for better help for sponsoring right. my video. You could get help there uh, like that. But what they don't tell you is that for everybody that signs up through better help. Mm through their channel that channel or they get code? 200 bucks for it i mean it's kind of the same with crunchyroll and it is the same for crunchyroll else. but crunchyroll is an application to watch anime, anime. yeah getting better help not is... hentai ladies and gentlemen yeah. <laughs> no hentai i repeat no hentai <laughs> so do not get waste of time and money yeah sorry but be- better help though <laughs> is a service basically they're profiting off people that are having mental issues or having problems in their life yeah which feels kind of immoral it's because they're making money off of people like if i understand like you need to make a living but it's like you're advertising the service which is subpar in which earlier this year yeah was was found out as a scam because of this whole like force to like make you pay and everything yeah and then they they fucking they preach it to people yeah Listen, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there because of the there the people that I've met, like and, and this is people with like business experience and things like that in the world of who have worked and led in the world of charity, there is a lot of corruption and since it is it is not charity is never just charity. Charity is a or, business. Yes. It's like it's yes, you can say organization, <laughs> but it is a fucking business. People need to make their their living off of it, even if it is non profit. Mm-hmm. It is non profit to the bottom line the people, not the investors, and not the people who are using it. Like think of all the products. There's like a huge thing about breast cancer mm-hmm. and the pink ribbon. 
yes, it's nonprofit to the people who are working in the organization at the bottom line of it. Mm -hmm. But think of all of the stores who are financing those organizations so that they can sell their products as pink ribbon and they can overcharge, like they can legally overcharge as a charity means. What do you mean by overcharge? Overcharge like like what? like you can let's say you I don't know man fucking imagine there's like uh, Oreos with pink frosting and you're like it's it's good for teddy cancer you know <laughs> and <laughs> and the money yeah. goes into it but they're like fucking thirty dollar Oreos and then you eat your pink Oreos and you're like it's Oreos yeah they got my titties thing you know <laughs> uh, but thing is. When you're taking the money for a nonprofit organization and you're not doing a move like Markiplier or the Game Grumps or Cutie Pie, when they do a fundraiser, it's yeah. the money goes directly to the company. Yeah. But there is an aside. When there is a product in place, which is in, in, your, in, in the case of what you're talking about, the, um, the, the app, yeah. the app with the service, when there is a product in place, there has to be like a subsidiary sort of. Or like an extra, okay. Like so you're money saying coming it's, out it's, of it. It's, I understand. That's the, like the I nature. I understand of its the mechanism. business of offering because you know psychology. If not, I would be saying psychologists are scum to like profit off of people who need help. Which right. I mean, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, this company is selling some par help. Yes. Selling it as professional help. Right. Well, they're not selling it as professional. Help. Yes, they're saying on their website they're saying get help. At a cheaper price from professionals. Right, right. Professionals just meaning they're being paid. Yes. Yeah. But they don't have any certificate or yeah. anything. And they're basically just a buddy you have online. Right. I think <clears throat> I think the, the reality of it is they're trying to make... I think this is what I, I, I tried to think. I think the initial idea was to make uh, help accessible to people without having to have a doctor or a lot of money or whatever. I'm like... Think about it, the fact that like when they sell ribbons or whatever, mm. it helps no one if you buy a ribbon. No. No. It helps no one. The the ribbon just says, I spent money for a little piece of fabric that says, I care about your poops or your prostate. <laughs> and it like it's it's nice at its core, but it, it is just like a hole for you to throw money into. Mm -hmm. Um for symbolism. And this, like, I get the idea of it. I do agree with the, like, I'm not well educated on, like, what the whole initiative Service. is about. I don't think it's a scam because, like, I don't want to call it a scam because there is a product, there is a clientele, and I'm guessing the... You could do it through other service than making, making creators pretend like they're not mentally stable which i agree a lot of youtubers are probably going through a lot of stress but making them go like lure in fans because you're 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 a public figure yeah you're you're a public figure and you're literally telling them hey if ever you need help get this and it just feels immoral. It feels immoral. It, like if you're if you're advertising stuff like Crunchyroll and it's like, hey, this is a service that if you enjoy, you could have it. This is not a service right. that you can enjoy. This is a service that's saying, hey, if you, you need have help, if you check need help, out. check this out. Right. It, it something about it feels immoral because it's like you check it out, I get money. Right. Let me let me continue preaching this message. To people who even don't even have a problem, but just want to check it out because the the creator is charismatic enough to yeah. convince you to sign up. Because because I mean, it it isn't bad in terms of like I'm gonna be a bit of the devil's advocate. Here Go for it. Because I understand I understand your point of view, and I can certainly see how frustrating that can be. But also, if I were to put myself in the shoes of someone who is um, in the process of accepting or understanding that they need help mm -hmm. and that that accessible like at the reach of the tips of your fingers you means... can't offer a free service and say actually you owe us two thousand two hundred fifty dollars you can't say it's a free trial what? of 30 days and but then saying you have it's no not choice of doing the payment once you download the app and put in your credit card you, you just to sign up you have to put in your credit card 
Right, 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 right. But they they instantly pull two hundred dollars at the end because it, it's monthly. No matter what right, happens, but, you're, but, you're, but the free month if you cancel before the end of the month. No, that that's the thing is that it's it's a certain amount a week, but it's a payment of monthly. So something like something in that spectrum of like it's like four payments of this, 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 but it's like you're signed in for a month payment automatically it's it's a weird system but it, okay. it, like, it forces I, you to pay about 200 dollars, 250 dollars. okay like that that can seem scammy i don't know i like okay that sounds like flimsy. if you want it's flimsy if, the way you're explaining it if but. maybe I'm, I'm explaining it wrong but like people had had to like fucking complain to the death to fucking get their money back yeah to de- like literally no, they're all not, like no. suicidal and they're no. like ah. <laughs> I, I think we could maybe put this to bed put this to bed and all right I just don't believe that a service like that. I feel if you really, guys, <laughs> if you really need help, seek professional. It's not online that you're you're not you no. can't get no 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 educated professionals. Yes, educated. Let's not make the same mistake as yeah. the application. Yeah, education educated professionals. Yes, I would say it's more expensive, and the app might tell you like, hey, it's affordable for people who can't do it. And by the way, if if you have the app and you like, if you want to go against me and say like, "Oh, it's actually a really good app," ooh, I encourage like, you to talk about that. That'd be interesting. I yeah, want, like want we we want to know more, so leave it in the comments down below. But like, I just don't believe that you can get actually better. You can't actually get help. Yeah, from some from something online. I, it's it's the human connection that helps you identify what your problem really is. I guess so. Like, uh, like I don't know, man. I don't have any mental issues. I'm fucking perfect. <laughs> Everybody loves me. Yeah. I love myself. My mom tells me every day. Mm-hmm. My dad tells me every day he should have worn a condom, and I laugh at him. And I'm like, <laughs> guess what? But anyways, it's like guess what? I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> no condom can stop me. Anyways, no, I'm I'm joking, but it's just. We yeah. sh- just like be yourself. Talk to the people that you love. They genuinely care about you. Uh, and like, if you feel like you can open up to no one, there's like, you can still be anonymous and seek professional, educated help <laughs> from I like doctors. How, I, I like, like how you mentioned that, like, like between in quotes, educated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you need people who've been to school and who know what the hell you're going through. Yeah. Uh, and there's uh, there's like groups. There's groups of people who suffer the exact same thing as you do. Anyways, that being said, I love you, Joppers. Yes, we're going to end this uh, episode slash podcast on a good note. And uh, leave a thumbs up on us and leave a thumbs down on the 2018 Rewind. Yes. (laughs) Let's make the gap even larger on the the dislike bar of uh, Rewind. (laughs) No.